bilaminar structure consisting of the bottom of the amniotic vesicle and the roof of the yolk vesicle is called embryonic disc. Let's have a look on what happens next with this developmental stage. If we look on the bottom of the amniotic vesicle, not in the section but just as surface look, where here would be the anterior or cranial pole of the future embryo and on the right we got the posterior pole and this is the dorsal view. On the floor of the amniotic vesicle, then you would note that the epiblast here is thick in the midline, is thickening, which is called a primitive streak. It ends with a knob like structure called primitive node, which is a source of growth of finger like projection that grows to the uh, grows anteriorly. However, it, it's not in this plane, but it's below the epiblast. That's I will. That's why I will use draw it with a dotted line. And it's heading towards a thickening on the of uh, of the epithelium of the uh, yolk sac, which is below, but would be transparent here as the precordial plate. So, this is a dorsal view on the embryonic disc at day, let us say, 15 to 16 after fertilization. This is the epiblast. Of the floor of the amniotic vesicle, which in the midline is thickened to form the primitive st streak. Which ends with the primitive node. Sometimes also called with the eponym Hansen's node. H E N S E N Hansen's node. That is the organizing center for the growth of another finger like projection. It grows anteriorly and it's called notochordal process or Cordo mesodermal process. Cranially, we would see the thickening of the yolk vesicle being transparent here. It's called precordal plate. Now, if we make a sagittal section through this, so here you make a section and look from from the side, more things happen. Let us say a day or two later. That would be the amniotic vesicle, the bottom of which is thickened to form the primitive streak that ends with the primitive node which projects into the notochordal process that grows anteriorly and in the sagittal section we would see also the yolk sac that it comes in close touch with the amniotic vesicle here that's where it becomes also thicker that's the Precolor plate here, and also in the caudal region, it comes in touch with the ectoderm. Here, there will be the 
Alan Toys, the finger-like projection. It's actually one of the fetal membranes in oviparous vertebrates, but it's rudimentary in mammals, therefore in humans as well. And here it will be co continuing the yolk sac, which is a larger structure at this time. So let us say that the sagittal, sag sagittal section on day 17, and this would be the amniotic vesicle. Thicken to form the primitive streak. Here with the primitive node. From which the chordal mesodermal process or not a chordal process grows anteriorly. It gets a lumen and that's why it's sometimes also called the canal of Lieberkuhn. Lieberkuhn. And it grows towards a thickening of the yolk vesicle this is the yolk vesicle and this thickening of the yolk vesicle it's the precordal plate let's pay attention to these two regions where the yolk and amniotic vesicle are in a very close contact this is called oropharyngeal membrane cranially and caudally a similar situation is called cloacal membrane we'll get back to these membranes when discussing development of the gastrointestinal system and these membranes will break down. These are temporary membranes. So here is the epiblast and here is the hypoblast. A day later the barriers between these two structures will break down and the cell populations from the amniotic and yolk vesicle will mix together. So it will look like this. The primitive streak, the primitive, primitive node. And now the wall of the notochordal process or the kennel of Lieberkin will break down. Oh, let me add the label Alan Toys here. Okay, I will not repeat it again, but we know it's there. So this is the amniotic vesicle, the yolk vesicle, and now a communication is opening here. The opening of the notochordal. process. So it starts to communicate with the yolk sac. With the yolk vesicle. And also the cell populations are mixing here.
the, the resulting cell population will contribute to the uh, formation of notochord. So let's uh, say this is how the situation looks at day 18. A day later, we even see this direct communication between the two vesicles. Okay, oropharyngeal membrane, precordial plate, and here there is a communication called the neuroenteric canal. This open communication is called the neuroenteric canal. It connects the connects the amniotic vesicle with the yolk vesicle, and it's a temporary opening or communication between the amniotic vesicle and yolk vesicle. It's called neuroenteric canal because this space is the future. Uh, intestine, and in this region the ectoderm will thick be thick become thickened to form the neuroplate. So that's how it came to its name. Let us say this is the day nineteen. Okay, this is the precordial plate. and the oropharyngeal membrane and cloacal membrane. In the next stage we will see how the notochord will evolve and the three layers of the gastroa will be established.